Okay, what's up everyone? Ethan at Chart Fitness. So we're gonna talk about the two things that are destroying our society today. That if we do not get a grip on them soon, then we're gonna be in deep trouble. Okay, so I'm on my way. I'm riding my bike. I'm about to go get a massage. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm out here in Columbia, of course. Beautiful weather. It's always 65 to 75 degrees. So on this bike ride, I'm gonna talk about the two things that we gotta get figured out. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let's get the camera set up. Boom. Right there. All right, so. Number one is, uh, I'm gonna start with number one, I'm gonna start with alcohol because alcohol, like especially in the Western world, and I mean, it's kind of everywhere. Alcohol is glorified, everybody loves it. Everybody wants some alcohol. <clears throat> and that is absolutely, um, I don't know, in my opinion, it's ruining our society. And so, uh, the reasons being, why, are, why is alcohol so bad, Ethan? Why is it so crazy? Because, hey, my background, guess what, guys? I used to drink a lot, too. It, I, like, blast, it's fun. I go to Vegas, Miami, you know, I was out in Europe partying. It's fun. I had a great time. But what everybody seems to forget is all the destruction that comes from alcohol, you know? So many DUIs, so many violent incidences. I believe like the majority of the crimes, um, I don't know the percentages or anything like that, um, but the majority of the violent crimes are alcohol fueled. Obviously, we know drunk driving is alcohol, or is, is um, very destructive as well. Many people die from uh, drunk driving. And so there's a, some really big facts right there. Like think about when it was COVID, right? When it was COVID, there was uh, people worried about, oh my God, we had what, 200,000 COVID deaths in the year. 2020 obviously sad but you know how many people die from like alcohol accidents in vehicles i believe it's like 80,000 a year <laughs> or something like that and that's and that's year to year to year i'm getting a little tired riding bike right now <laughs> yeah so here we are park at pinoche all right so that's that's the societal level also on the societal level it's kind of like the way it gets ingrained into families and like parenting is pretty ugly too because people are um, seeing their families getting drunk all the time you know it's normalized it's like whatever it's not a big deal right grandma's doing it my mom and dad so and why is that destructive well you wake up with hangovers you're lazy on some things you're not responsible you make mistakes and you make mistakes. You're like, oh, he's just drunk, you know, whatever. It's okay, not a big deal, he's just drunk. And so it just kind of like creates, this, the, creates these big disparities in character as well. So. And so when you have, I'm about to get ran over, <laughs> all of these disparities in character, it leads into deeper things um, in society, like more divorces, more divorces, and then what else? Obviously, more lying, lots of lying. So, alcohol is known. A lot of people call it loud mouth suit. People lie, or they tell like their honest opinion, or maybe they're lying or they're talking shit. So, <laughs> causes a lot of issues in that regard. Um, so, that's on the societal level. Right, so let's talk about now the individual. What do we see alcohol do on the individual individual level? Well, we see dreams being crushed. We see dreams being crushed by legal implications. By legal implications, you know, let's say you get a DUI, like you're just kind of screwed in your job for a while. Um, 
Also, if you're partying a lot, your dopamine levels are going down. That's gonna affect the way you're motivated to succeed. Think about how many people probably were great athletes, uh, great students, and they had too many nights partying while they're in university, or too many you know, parties while they're trying to become a great athlete, and they performed like shit. And then guess what? Their careers fell apart. That happens a lot. <laughs> and so there's that you see this huge drop in uh, huge drop in success and people just become losers when they're partying a lot I mean they might still achieve some success to some degree but they get fat and then they get and then they fall off track with their goals and they're playing a bunch of video games you know it's like are they really of course they're successful and they're not like living on the street perhaps not everyone Right? A lot of people are doing well, they still got jobs, they're making money. And, but the drinking is like holding them back from their potential, right? So that's on the individual level. So now let's talk about number two. Number two, let's say the other thing that is, is destroying our society is porn. And porn's popularity and acceptance in society. People more and more now are okay with it. They're like, all right, it's whatever. I, you go on your Snapchat feed, go to the Discover page, and there's like only fan stars having like interviews on podcasts all the time. And they're like, oh yeah, she's a cool chick, whatever, like that's yeah, just fun. Porn stars on there. Oh, what's your favorite shoes? You know, like they're very normalizing the porn star as a as like a figure in society. It's starting to become very normalized. I'm not saying those girls, those guys are bad people. Obviously, they just they maybe they just haven't opened their mind up to what's really going on on like a more spiritual level and what it means for like their future generations and the love and the relationships they experience around them but let's get back to the viewers right now we don't i don't need to talk about the girls or anything like that the viewers though the ones who are paying the porn stars and stuff all they're doing what are they doing what how does this business work basically they're paying them so they can jerk off and that's it and that's pretty weird transaction. One person's masturbating, jerking off, and the other person's getting naked, and there's that's the transaction, okay? Maybe it seems harmless. Maybe it seems harmless from the outside. When I was younger, I was like, whatever, who cares, dude? We have bodies, we have sexual urges, and I really liked it, too, so I get it. But as you zoom out and look at society as a whole, you look at how it affects the way we like raise our kids and like find love and like build a healthy sexual relationship, it can be pretty um, destructive to the way those things function. Okay, so that's another crazy one. Also, these like sexual compulsive disorders and addictions, they are linked to, uh, they get linked to social anxiety disorders and depression. And so a lot of people are getting socially anxious, they can't meet girls, they're getting depressed, and then they're getting suicidal and it's a very big deal so boom that's it i arrived at my massage place those are the two things that are the world needs to get a grip on asap thanks for watching this video like and subscribe ethan at chart fitness